Hey girls and boys, it's Mrs. Davis. And as you can see, I'm inside today. Even though this is our camping week, I had to come inside today because it's raining outside. You know, sometimes when you're camping, the weather can get in the way of things you want to do outdoors, but we're not going to let that stop us from learning and having fun in our camping week. Today, I am going to be sharing with you my totally cool and a really awesome bug collection. Yeah, I collect dead bugs. But after seeing my dead bugs, you might want to start collecting your own dead bugs. Before I actually show you my collection, I wanted us to learn some totally true facts about insects. So I brought along a few um, nonfiction items with me. I've got a book that I'm going to read to you and also this poster back here. So let's start here. It says, we are insects. Not everything that crawls on the ground is an insect, but there are some things you can spy for that will let you know for sure if you're dealing with one. First of all, they will have two antenna. Second, they will have six legs. That's a for sure. And then Third, they have three body parts. Look at this diagram of an insect. Two antenna, one, two, three, four, five, six legs, and three body parts. Now, if you look around this poster, you can spy other insects. Let's take a look. Praying mantis, fly, ladybug, which we learned about last week, Dragonfly, my favorite. Mosquito, not my favorite. Bee, firefly, which I am looking forward to because I know they're going to be lighting up the darkness really soon. Butterfly, such a beautiful creature. Grasshopper, katydid, and cricket. Those are just a few of the many insects. Now, I wanted to share with you one more piece of information before we leave this poster. I see a creepy crawly thing down here. It's a spider. But did you know that spiders are not insects? I can compare this creature and this creature and I can tell the difference. Because I know that all insects have six legs. However, this spider does not have six legs. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight legs. So it's definitely not an insect. And if I look real close at the spider, it only has two body parts. And we know that insects have three body parts. So even though a spider has legs and it crawls, it's not in the insect group. It's a different, it's with a different group of creatures all together. So, you know, we can really be insect experts. Hey, I'm going to read to you this book called Insects, and let's see if we can find out a few more things about this really cool group of creatures called insects. Now, this is a nonfiction book, and, you know, we've been learning a lot of things about nonfiction books. So you're going to see uh, some things in here like labels, and you're going to see um, maybe some little diagrams, but you're definitely going to learn some facts about insects. So that's the purpose of a nonfiction, is to teach us, to inform us, to explain things. All right, let's get started. The world is full of little creepy crawly things, but not all of them are insects. A wiggly worm isn't. A slow poke snail isn't. And even a hairy spider isn't. And we know why. Do you think this is an insect right here? How many body parts can you count? One, two, three. That's an insect, right? If you counted three, it is probably an insect. All right, let's keep finding out more. Is this Katie did an insect? 
right there. If you counted six legs, count its legs. If you counted six, you can be sure it's an insect. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Insects are the only animals in the world that have six legs. I didn't know that. That's a cool fact. A grasshopper has six legs. A beetle has six legs. And a moth has six legs too. So all of those are insects. Here's some really cool things that insects can do with their legs and their feet. You might be surprised. The things that insects can do with their legs and feet might surprise you. Mm -hmm. A housefly tastes things with its front feet. So you know when these flies, when flies are landing on our countertops and our food items, they're tasting. Ooh. A katydid hears through tiny holes in its knees. That's fascinating. A praying mantis uses its strong front legs to hold prey. Definitely a predator going on there. And a honeybee carries pollen in baskets on its legs. See that? Pretty amazing. Most insects have wings. There's one flying around. And those wings can come in handy. Hey, did you know this? Besides birds and bats, insects are the only animals that can fly. That's a cool fact. Hey, flying makes it easier for them to find food. It's a fast way to escape enemies too. Nearly all insects have two feelers on top of their heads. Look at this really fancy set of feelers. They're used for feeling, tasting, and hearing things. Some insects can even smell things with their feelers. So not just any old body part, but definitely used for special purposes. I tell you, I am learning so much about insects and I am really appreciating them more and more. Insects have mouth parts that are just right for food they eat. You're going to find out some amazing facts about the different mouth parts on different creatures what that we call insects. Hey, a butterfly sips nectar. Its mouth is like a straw. Cool. A housefly soaks up yucky garbage. Ooh. Its mouth is like a sponge. A grasshopper Choose plants, its mouth is like a pair of scissors. Hmm. And then, not my favorite insect, a mosquito sucks blood. That's why. Its mouth is like a needle. Stay away. But even though insects can eat other things and sometimes they are predators, you know that insects are also prey for other creatures? Insects are a favorite snack of frogs, birds, and bats. But they have lots of ways from, from ways to keep from being eaten. Some insects hide in plain sight. Tree hoppers can fool you. They look like thorns on a stem. And then a leaf insect looks just like another dry leaf. And then finally, it's easy to miss a tree bark grasshopper on this tree trunk. What word do we say when a creature blends in with its surroundings? Do you know? Yeah, if you said camouflage, you're correct. So they hide from their enemies. Pretty nifty. 
Did you know that most insects hatch from eggs? And many baby bugs look like their parents, only smaller. You can tell what they were. You can tell what they are even before they grow up. A baby milkweed bugs look just like their parents. And so do these cockroaches. Baby cockroaches look like their parents. Other insect babies don't look like their parents at all. This caterpillar hatched from an egg too, but when it grows up, that's the baby. And this is the adult, a big brown moth. They don't look anything alike. I'm just thinking that insects are even more amazing when I started learning about them today. Insects are amazing and they're everywhere. So be careful where you step. You might find a six leg creature that's more fun to watch than squash. I like that ending a lot. Some are more fun to watch than to squash. Oh wow, that was a lot of information about insects. I really learned a couple really cool facts. I didn't know that a housefly's um, mouth was like a sponge and they were soaking up yucky garbage. I did, however, know that a butterfly's mouth was like a straw. I didn't realize that insects are the only creatures to have six legs. That was a really cool fact too. Wow, now let's get down to the fun stuff. We've learned a lot of facts about insects. Well, let's view some. Now, what I like to do when I go outside is I like to uh, spy around. And a lot of times by just looking on the ground, I find really cool creatures. In fact, I've found some over the years and I have been collecting bugs for a really long time. And when I opened my container of bugs, oh, uh, they also stink after a while, but still I'm gonna keep them. I always put mine in a bag or some kind of a container. I must scoot over just a smidge, smadge, so I can grab my bug collection. Now, if we were at school, you could spy them up close and personal, but this will have to do. All right, let me just grab a few of my really cool insects. Here is a butterfly, and I like to keep them in little plastic bags or containers that I have. And that one was a beautifully whole butterfly. In fact, I have found a lot of butterflies over the years. Here are a few more. Let me go on that side. And then this is some kind of a beetle. Yeah. I'm going to show you a few more of my beautiful butterflies. And for some reason, I am really luck out when I am walking. Sometimes I find these totally, completely whole butterflies. You can see those antenna. This one has wings. And it's hard to count the legs, but I can guarantee you that this butterfly had six. Look at the beautiful patterns and colors on this one. That is a swallowtail butterfly, I believe. I have a bunch of those. Let me show you one more of those. Again, if you just spy around, you never know what you're gonna spy. Now, I don't pick up living bugs. If they're dead, I will take them home. Some people think that's kind of crazy, but I think they are fascinating and amazing. Okay, this one is actually, there's actually two creatures in there, so I'm trying to navigate this. Hang on just a second. Let me uh, take out one of these creatures. Oh, that was a bee. I wanted to show you this beautiful moth that I collected. He was totally full and totally dead when I found him. Um, and if you were looking with a magnifying glass, you could see that the really the top of his head is really fuzzy. That's a really cool creature. And he was totally, completely whole when I found him just like that. This is a very large bee. I think I found this one at the beach. Um, it was just dead in the windowsill. And I took it home. And you can see, if you were looking really up close, you can see some 
antenna right there and his beautiful patterns and his wings. Just amazing, amazing, amazing. Now, this is a dragonfly and this was part of its body. It has since uh, been decomposing. <laughs> uh, I do have, let's see if I can open this up so you can get a better view of these creatures. I'll try to tilt it without them falling. So in this one, I have some kind of a beautiful, look at that pretty pattern on that moth. And then let's see, this one's so old. Can you guess what insect this is? <laughs> yeah, brain manis. Isn't he amazing? And then a Katie did. And we saw those um, in our book. And they're in my poster too. Now this is a really cool find. Can you tell me what these are? If you said inside here is a butterfly. So a caterpillar went in there and made this chrysalis, these chrysalis. And these were actually some um, butterflies that I had. I had the chrysalises and some hatched and these never hatched. So their butterfly is still in there. He, they never came out. I don't know what happened, but I just kept those. Those are really cool. Um, yesterday when I was at school, I was going in the building and I saw, what is this? Yeah, it's a bee, but do you know what kind it is? I think this is a honeybee, which I don't like to see dead because I love honeybees because they're so important to nature. And let me show you a few more. Now these guys you can hear in the late summer and even in the fall. Look at that guy. Look at those eyeballs on that thing. Wow, he is huge. This is a cicada. Cicada, and they make a large noise in the late summer. You can hear them making their cicada song, as I call it. Um, I wanted to grab this guy right here, if I can. I don't know if I can pick him up so you can see him. Yep, got him. Oh, dropped him. And I took off one of his legs. Oh, boy. I'm not having luck with this guy right here. See if you can see him in my hand because I'm having trouble picking him up. I'm going to flip him over. Firefly. See his little light bulb right there? Cool. And I have one more that I'm going to show you. This one was a really extra special ordinary find. Whoops. And I have him in a special little container. Yeah. This one, I just happened to look down when I was on a walk years ago. Look at that baby. Oh boy. I wouldn't want to run into him on a dark night. How about that one? Look at the beautiful pattern. And let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six legs. I think this one is called a rhinoceros beetle. I'm not 100% sure on that. However, he's amazing. And I have kept him all these years. Yeah, it's so fun to collect dead bugs, as you can see. And you can put them in little cases and little containers. And they stay, they dry out and stay pretty well formed for many, many years. Well, I hope you've had fun exploring insects and bugs with me today and learning some totally new facts. Now, here's what I want you to do at your house. You can see I've got this little poster right here. It says bugs and butterflies all around in the air and on the ground. Crawling, gliding, and squirming too. Look at the colorful ones you drew. This is a poster of kids who drew some insects and they were at home. But I wanted you to do this at home. I've got a little survey. So I want you to answer some questions for me. The first question says, do you like insects, yes or no? So just at your house on your spiral, 
answer that question. Do you like insects? Yes or no? All right, we're doing a little survey. And then it says, why or why not? So if you like insects, tell me why. If you don't like them, why not? And then the third question says, which insect is your favorite? So if you like insects, um, like me, I do, um, you might have a favorite. You know mine is the dragonfly. So I would be writing down dragonfly. And then it says, which is your least favorite? So which one do you like the least? Now there are several insects that I really don't like, but you know for sure, I do not like mosquitoes. I don't like them drinking my blood. They really bother me when they're flying around and I'm trying to enjoy the great outdoors. So that would be my least favorite. All right, answer these survey questions and don't forget to send me a picture. And if you get outdoors anytime soon, you might wanna start your collection of insects. Don't forget to spy the ground and you too might find some dead bugs to collect. All right, campers, until our next camping video, as always, have a good one.